Hi, I'm Mark Lubrick, and I'm going to be your guide throughout these math modules. Now, in this first video, we're just looking at how to navigate the modules themselves. So when you first open the modules, what you're going to see is this video. And you will have the option to skip it, but if you've never used the modules before, I recommend watching it just so you feel comfortable navigating them. But once the video is done, this is the page you're going to be brought to. This is our home page, and all the modules will have the same basic home page. So what do we have? Well, we have these four shortcut buttons right along the top. And you can see when you hover over them, we get a brief description of what they are. So the very first one brings us to the home page. So this main menu, this home page that we're on right now, clicking that will bring us here. So in this case, it won't do anything. And I'm not going to actually click the next three buttons yet, but we'll talk about them briefly. This one would bring you to the key concepts. This one would bring you to instructional videos. And this one would bring you to the practice questions. Now, all three of these things are accessible here in the menu. Since it's the home page, we have links to all of these separate pages anyway. But when you're navigating throughout the module, normally you won't have these menu items, so you will always have these shortcut buttons and can navigate through the module quickly. Okay, great. So let's start looking at the different parts of the actual module. First things first, we have accessibility information. If you click this, it'll take us to the accessibility information page. And now we try to make these modules as accessible as possible, but some of the equations are actually images. So we've attached an HTML5 document that can be read by screen readers. You'd get it from this page. And if you're looking for a free screen reader, by the way, I recommend checking out NVDA. It'll work beautifully for reading these equations. Now, let's say I want to go back to the main menu. I can either use my shortcut key up here, or you can see this arrow down here. Arrows for navigating. This one is back. It'll take me back to the main menu. I can also look at the learning outcomes, the next thing on my menu. This is just going to tell us what we should be learning in this module. By the time we're done the module, we should be able to do these things. If not, maybe we need to go back and review some of the concepts. Again, if I want to get back to the main menu, I can click this since that was the last page I was on. Or in this case, I'm going to use the shortcut just to show you. See, brought me back to the main menu. Now, we have a pre-assessment. This is before you start the module. If you want, you can take a little bit of a quiz just to see how, well, where you should start, basically. Should you be doing all the questions in this module? Or maybe you can skip the level one questions. So you take this. It's just going to judge where you're at. And you'd click start. You can click through. And we'll look at this format a little bit more as we get to the actual practice questions. But we're not going to do this pre-assessment because this is just an instructional video. So. Going back to the main menu, after that, we have instructional videos. So if I click that link, you can see I have this module video right here. I can click to this and actually watch the video we're making right now. There's an introduction to module one. So if I click this, what's going to happen is it's actually going to open a YouTube channel. And you can actually watch the video here. This video happens to be the intro to module one. I could click in and start watching. Hi, we're not going to because I don't want to watch myself but it would give you the basics of the module. A lot of the similar things that are going to be in the review concepts that we'll talk about in a little bit. But this allows you to have these videos open while you're still navigating the module. So I could switch back to that video later if I need to. And we can also look at example videos. When I click into here, you can see there's a whole whack of videos. These are to demonstrate the concepts for this module. There's a variety of question types, all meant to help you, to actually show you how to do these types of questions that you're going to be doing in the module. So you can click to any one. Again, they will open up in the YouTube channel. And again, you can keep it open while you're working your way through the questions. As always, I have these back arrows to go back to the previous page, or I can jump to the main menu. And it's also worth noting that, again, this instructional videos will take me to that page that we're just on. So shortcuts as I'm navigating to get around if I want to. We also have this review concepts. Now when I click here, you can see there's some basic concepts that you should know for this module to help you actually solve the questions. Now, there is something a little unique. There's a bunch of different review concepts, but there is something unique about the button up here. You can see review concepts, rather than taking you to that page, what it does is actually opens the review concept in a separate window. You can see it opened in a separate window so that if you're doing a problem, you're working your way through one of the questions and, oh God, I can't remember how to do this. I can open up the key concepts and navigate through them without having to navigate away from the question I'm on. So a useful trick. And when I'm done looking at the concepts, I just click the X and I'm back on the page I was. 
we'll look at it again when we look at the questions. And that's really what's next, the practice questions. I click here, and again, I could get there by clicking the shortcut up there. But what happens is you can see we have a bunch of levels. We have organized all the questions into levels. Now each module will have anywhere from two to four levels. I'm demonstrating on the very first module of the series, so there's four levels. Most of them are actually gonna have three. And what we did is level one's the easiest and level four would be the hardest, or level three if that's all the levels you have. So depending on your pre-assessment, you might be told you can skip level one, or maybe you just start with these level one questions. I'd click it and it will take me to the level one. You can see it has the numbers as I go. If I want to skip a question, I can use the arrows along the bottom. But you can see there's a few new buttons here. This is the same format for the pre-assessment, by the way. So once we get used to using this format, we will be okay. So what we have is the number, the question we're on, the levels up here, and the actual question. In this case, we're asked to solve for x, and what we're gonna do is once we've got the answer, maybe we're marking it off on a paper, off to the side, once we think we have the answer, we'd pick. Maybe I think the answer is five. Well, I'd pick five, and then as it tells me down here, I would select the question mark, or select an answer, click the question mark. So once I picked an answer, I click this, Oh, and unfortunately I got it wrong. In this case, uh, I guess I should have taken more time to do the question. I got it wrong. And now I have the choice of going to the next question or trying again if I want. Maybe I want to keep going until I get it right. So I'm going to click try again. I'm not going to tell you what the actual answer is because hopefully you're going to do that module. But let's say I'm just getting stuck. I need some help. I have two different ways of going about that. I can go and click get a hint. And you can see I'm going to be given some steps. If I want to, I can now look at how to solve this question. If I want to stop at step one, I can click the X to get out. Or if I want, I can look at the next step as well. So this will show me the solution. It'll help guide me if I'm getting stuck. You can also click this and it'll open up a similar video. Those videos, those instructional videos, those example videos we looked at earlier, those are what this is going to reference. It would reference you to the most appropriate example video. Again, it would open up in YouTube, so you could still have this question open at the same time, and you'd watch the video for some hints. Or as I said before, let's say I'm stuck, maybe I just need to review the key concepts. So I can click through, look at the concept that I want, and then when I'm done, I would actually just exit and go back to the question. And once I'm ready, they, let's say maybe I pick a different answer and I could go on to the next question. And all of them have the same format. Some have more hints, some have more steps as we get further, but once I am done, I can keep going through. Once I finish all the level one questions, it'll take me to level two, or I could jump back to this and go to the level two questions if I wanted, or all the way to level four. All the practice questions are laid out the same, you can see. They just get progressively more difficult. But it has the same format, I can get a hint anytime I want, and I can watch a similar video anytime I want. Great. Well, what else do we have? We have a post-assessment. Well, just like we had a pre-assessment to see where you're at, the post-assessment is to see, did you learn everything? Again, click in. It'll ask if I'm ready. If I am, same exact format without the hints without the instructional videos because this is meant to be done just on your own, just to see did you learn the concepts from this module appropriately. At the end, you're gonna get feedback saying, well, you know what, maybe you should review some more concepts or yeah, you did great, move on to the next module. And finally, there's a survey. We want these modules to get better over time, so we do encourage you to try doing this survey just to give back some feedback. You can see when you hover over it, it tells you one is strongly disagree, where five is strongly agree. It's just asking some basic questions of whether you got information from this module and if you found they were useful. But otherwise, that's really how all the module is gonna work. And it's gonna have the same basic format. Again, the only real thing that'll change from one module to the other is obviously the actual content, but also the practice questions. Remember, some of the other modules will only have three levels. So hopefully this helped you navigate it. And remember, if you forget how to navigate, you can go to the instructional videos at any time and rewatch this video whenever you need. So good luck in the modules. I look forward to seeing you throughout them.